Right, this is the story of Hansel and um, Gretel. Gretel. And they were brother and sister. This is the boy, Hansel. Yeah. And this is the girl, Gretel. Gretel. She's the sister and he's the brother. And they lived far, far away, deep in the forest. Hansel and Gretel lived in a teeny tiny house at the edge of a great forest with their father, that's the dad, who was a woodcutter, and their stepmother here. They were so poor they didn't even have enough money for food. How will we feed the children? The father moaned. He was a good man and he didn't know that the stepmother had a plan, a nasty plan. Husband, we must take the children into the forest and leave them there. Then we can be rid of them, she said. We can't, spluttered the woodcutter, horrified. But his wife was determined to have her way. Gretel said, she's such a meanie. But Hansel said, don't worry, I know what to do. And late that night, as everyone slept, Hansel crept outside. He filled his pockets with pebbles that sparkled like silver coins in the moonlight. The next morning, the family set off. Clever Hansel dropped the pebbles, dropped the shiny pebbles along the path wow. as they went on their way. Wow. That's, That's a good idea, isn't it? That's a good idea. That is a good idea. And when they reached the middle of the forest, and the children right in the middle of the forest, their stepmother announced, your father and I are off to chop wood. You stay here. But they didn't come back. I'm scared, Hansel, cried Gretel. But Hansel knew what to do. Don't worry, I have a plan, he said. When the moon came up, he took his sister by the hand and they followed the glistening trail of pebbles all the way home, where their father and stepmother were having their dinner. Their father was delighted to see them, but their stepmother said angrily, You lazy bones, why did you sleep so long in the woods? That night she nagged her husband, We must take them even deeper into the forest. And this time, when Hansel got up to collect the pebbles, his stepmother had locked the door shut. The following day, as they set out, Hansel knew what to expect. He made a trail of crumbs from the tiny piece of bread he'd been given for breakfast. And as they went on their way, deeper and deeper, into the forest, Hansel dropped the crumbs on the path. Is that enough crumbs, Grace? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Sit tight, you two, ordered their stepmother once they reached the deepest, darkest part of the forest. We're off to chop more wood. We'll be back later. But by night time, no one had come for them and they were lost in the deepest part of the forest. Don't worry, said Hansel, we'll follow the trail home. Oh, we forgot about the birds. The children couldn't find a single crumb. Who'd eaten the crumbs? The birds. The birds had come during the day and they'd eaten all of the crumbs that Hansel had put down. Not a single crumb was left and the children were lost in the forest. They walked and walked and walked for a whole night and a whole day. I can't go on, I'm so 
tired and so hungry, sighed Gretel. Just then, Hansel spotted a house ahead. This house here. It was entirely made from gingerbread and sweets and cakes. The children could not believe their eyes. They ran forwards and grabbed delicious handfuls of sweet treats. As they munched happily, an old woman poked her head around the door. Come inside and stay with me, my dears, she smiled. No sooner had the children entered the house than they realised they had been tricked. The old woman was really a witch. She locked up Hansel in a cage and forced his Hansel in his cage and forced Gretel to do all the cleaning and all the cooking. Come on, you lazy lump, she said to Gretel. You must cook for your brother, she cackled. He looks so tasty, I think one day I shall eat him. Gretel was terrified. Every day, the witch checked to see if Hansel was ready to eat. Is he ready to eat yet? Yes. You think he is? Yes. And every day, clever Hansel fooled the witch. He knew she couldn't see well, so he held out a bone instead of his finger. The witch was very puzzled that Hansel stayed so thin. I won't wait any longer, she snapped. I'm eating him now. Gretel, light the oven. It won't light, said Gretel. What? Stupid goose, snarled the witch. And she stuck her, set, her head inside the oven to light the flame. Gretel saw her chance. With all her might, she pushed the witch's bottom. Take that, you nasty witch. And the witch tumbled into the oven, and that was the end of her. You saved us, cried Hansel, as Gretel freed him from the cage. And now the children were free to explore the witch's house, and they found some golden coins and treasures made out of gold. <coughs> Laughing happily, they filled up their pockets and set off home. When they arrived, their father hugged them tight. He had never forgiven himself for leaving the children. Thankfully, the wicked stepmother had left long ago. From that day on, the woodcutter and his beloved children were richer than they ever could have dreamt and never went hungry again. And they all lived happily ever after. <laughs>